Last year, these businesses helped Rwanda climb to the top. Because of development, opportunity and enterprise, Rwanda jumped 76 places on the World Bank economic ladder. That landed them this prize, top global business reformer. I ask you to please to accept on behalf of the government of Rwanda this award presented by the World Bank Group. Setting records doesn't hinder expectations. The bar is now exceedingly high for the upcoming year. The key point is to be evidence-based, to not really please yourself in what you think you are doing, but also to let others judge you. That's exactly what's happening. Two reports eyeing up the fiscal policies. The Doing Business report is annual for the first time the ICA, an investment climate assessment. Level productivity is, is quite very important. And Findings are both positive and negative. On the upside, Rwandan governance ranks high. And when it comes to business costs, Rwandan firms sit on the lower end. The World Bank says Rwandan businesses have three major concerns, electricity, taxes and finance. Now it's nothing new for the government who says these issues have been on their radar. The government says they're investing in sustainable solutions like methane and solar energy. Tax rates are also being looked at, especially in the area of compliance, and they've changed five laws to facilitate easier business transactions. There are others that we are actually also carrying out like right now, like uh, making it easier to get construction permits. Anything that has a time element is something that people easily notice. Anything that has a cost element, like reducing a fee, that, that is very visible. Rwanda still lags behind in private investment and big business. Only 12% of the country's GDP comes from private shareholders. It's a big step that could be possible for a country who takes giant strides. Molly Thomas, RTV News.